Purple rainbow. Green dragon. Upside down circle. <laughs> Your cereal box has almost every shape. The Chaos Crunch cereal giveaway is as good as ours. And pink flamingo. <laughs> it's not Chaos Crunch. Of course not. All that sugar's bad for you. These are flax flavored fibros. <laughs> Huh? Ah! Oh! Leave the soup in here! Voltaire! Doctor Frog! Do the canvas! Do the canvas! Leave the soup in here! Voltaire, we've been waiting here for hours. I'm leaving. You will do no such thing, Dr. Frog. At any moment now, one of those snot-nosed neighbor kids will fall for my sinister trick. You glue the penny to the sidewalk. And when one of those brats tries to pick it up, they won't be able to... <laughs> oh, Voltar, you are truly evil. You know, Voltar, foot traffic has been pretty light today. Maybe it's because all the kids are over there playing that video game. A video game in the way of my evil plan? Not for long. Stand aside, children. This game is about to be defeated by the nimble fingers of the great Voltar. When humbled by my high score, you will no longer have any interest in playing. And then perhaps you stroll in. That direction. Are you ready for the brain dump? Brain dump? Well, what kind of a blast em up game is that? Oh, it's not that kind of game. It's trivia. You know, for smart people. <laughs> well, no one is more trivial than me. Prepare to be awed by my brilliance. Uh, this could get ugly. Question one. What emerges from a cocoon and has pretty wings? Challenger? <laughs> you call that a challenge? <laughs> the answer is... Bigfoot. Wrong! <laughs> Giant robots. Wrong! A computer. Wrong! Dr. Frog. Wrong! Oh, you're so wrong! Calculating player intelligence. Player is as smart as... Celery. What? <laughs> Don't you want to walk that way? New high score. Calculating player intelligence. Triple Einstein. Yeah. Celery? <laughs> Those kids think I'm not as smart as them? No. Oh, well, they'll see. My plan of revenge is brewing. I've done it. After reverse engineering the brain dump game, I have all the answers to every one of its questions. Great work, Dr. Frog! <clears throat> what language do they speak in Germany? Germs can talk? All you have to do is study the answers and you'll get a perfect score. <clears throat> no one's ever gotten smarter by studying. No, Frog. I have a simpler plan. The League of Super Evil will infiltrate the local elementary school. I will pose as a substitute teacher and teach those bratty know-it-all kids all the wrong answers to the game. <laughs> then we'll see who gets laughed at. <laughs> the teachers are still in the lounge. Frog, Red, start digging the alligator pit. I'll rig up the electrified fence. Those teachers must not leave the lounge. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Coffee cake! Right. Coffee cake! Oh, oh, the kids won't miss us for a few minutes. But, but what? No self-respecting teacher can resist Red's coffee cake. The special ingredient is love. Fine. 
You three stay here and make sure those teachers stay put. I, meanwhile, will be filling the minds of Miss Johnson's fifth grade class with lies. I am Mr. Voltarski, your substitute teacher. What happened to Miss Johnson? Is she sick? Yes, she is. Sick of the falsehoods and wrongness she had to teach you. I will reveal the secrets that the education system has been keeping from you. Like, what is the main language of Germany? Duh, German. And you are so wrong. That is what the system wants you to think. The right answer is Martian. You mean like you? <laughs> Standing guard, what a waste of my evil scientific mind. It's easy if you stay focused and don't get distracted. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> what that stench. It's like a foul smelling fungus. Time to do something evil. Dodgeball? I've always wanted to learn how to play dodgeball. <laughs> do, uh, do, I, do I win? Oh, how I love primordial goo. That's the tuna surprise. Then let's make it really surprising. <laughs> Mr. MCV is busting into his house, y'all. <laughs> A groovy teach tells you what's what. You know the trivia from the bottom of your gut. Like what is wood with leaves and roots? Yo, not a tree, it's a space monkey. <laughs> Putting books on your roof, boys. That wasn't cool at all. Miss Johnson is cool. She doesn't give us homework on Fridays. Oh, yeah? Well, Mr. Voltarski is so cool, he won't give you homework ever. Ever? As long as you pay attention to this one simple lesson, and if you don't, homework every day forever. Whoa! <laughs> now, let the unlearning begin. Uh -oh. hey, how about I teach you kids something I like to do? Who wants to make friendship bracelets? Would you look at the toy? It's almost lunch! The capital of France is... Paris. Eh, applesauce. Who was the first man on the moon? Eh, trick question. The moon's too small to land on. Um, hold on. This is better be good, frog. <laughs> now, uh, how about a pop quiz before we break for lunch? That was Miss Johnson. No, it wasn't. It was a holographic robot teacher sent here from the future to give you extra homework for the weekend. <laughs> or this? Where well, this is just a, a special seasoning. <laughs> Behold! The new Blue Plate Special! <laughs> Not me! Oh, sweet corn! That there gravy monster did look pretty darn tasty! Ah, oh, well. Remember to weave the thread through the bead, not around. Hey! What do you think you're doing with my gym class? Uh-oh. What's going on in there? Hurry up! Uh, there'll be extra summer vacation to the first one to hand in their quiz! Wrong? Wrong? Yes! All of their quizzes are wrong! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> are you ready for the brain dump? What 
do you think? Question one. What is the capital of France? Challenger? <laughs> the capital of France is... <laughs> Boring. Let's go home. Wait, just a minute. The capital of France is Paris. <laughs> what? That was the right answer. If that dumb game was on, it would have said so. We learned that one at school today. Everyone knows the capital of France is applesauce. Dum dum. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't worry, Voltar. I don't think you're a dummy. Thanks, Red. Ooh, look! A penny! 